Police say a Warren woman had a miscarriage and now she's charged with abuse of a corpse. The case is headed to a Trumbull County grand jury. First News Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley was inside Warren Municipal Court today for the preliminary hearing. And we want to warn you that you might find some of these details disturbing. Brittany Watts overcome with emotion after learning her case is moving forward. Watts is charged with felony abuse of a corpse, accused of trying to plunge a toilet after having a miscarriage delivery at 22 weeks while using the restroom. She said she felt the baby come out and there was a, a, a big splash. Investigators say they found a baby stuck in a toilet at Watts' home on September 22nd. Forensic pathologist Dr. George Sturbins testified an autopsy found no injury to the fetus and that the unborn baby had died before passing through the birth canal. He says Watts' medical records showed she visited the hospital twice before the delivery. This fetus was going to be non-viable. Okay. And it was going to be non-viable because she had premature rupture of membranes. Her water had broken early. And the fetus was too young to be delivered. Both the assistant prosecutor and Watts' attorney argued why this case should or should not move forward. The issue isn't if how the child died, when the child died. It's the fact that, I, that the baby was put into a toilet large enough to clog up the toilet, left in that toilet, and she went on her day. This 33-year-old girl with no criminal record is demonized for something that goes on every day. Judge Terry Ivancheck found probable cause to bind the case over. There are better scholars than I am to determine the exact legal status of this this corpse body, birthing tissue, whatever it is. Uh, matter of fact, I'm assuming that's what most of these uh, issue one's all about, at what point something becomes viable. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.